Okay, guys, we have a problem. This lady right here, she's broody, and that lady stole her nest. Oh my gosh, please focus. So, we have to go block off that nest and put the broody one back in there. And hopefully she stays. She's freaking out. So here, I got it all set up now. You can come out if you wish. But I think you should try. Screw you, don't touch me. This woman. Oh, are you? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. You do not understand. Oh, look at her. She's even puffy now. <laughs> oh. You make me so happy, girly. You know that? Yeah, I know, you crazy yeah. women. Okay, let's get this fence up. done and then this is a little bit shaky and I'm not sure I might put posts like here and here and tie it on both sides just to make sure that it doesn't fall and then here's a little gate so you have to like squeeze through here um, and then also we might put a cover over the top because um, I feel like the ding-dongs that are sleeping right now, they're probably going to try and jump in and just cause chaos. I am the chaos. Okay, so it's getting dark, so we got the light now, but got this post. Got this post, and then we got this one, and this one on the inside. And I might even, I might do some twine just because it can come up on the sides, but it won't be able to fall over now. It's gonna stay up. So yeah, and we got Broody Mama in here. Okay. I need to turn my eggs. So tired. So that's what it looks like when How you dare you awaken me with your voice? Turn the eggs. Okay. So this woman, she came out and then went back in. I think she just hopped over this little fence so what we're gonna have to do first of all we need to get food and water in here because that's probably why she jumped out and you get out of here get out of here what do you think you're doing i am going to lay an egg inside there nest with my broody friend so i want to make sure that she stays in obviously they're li they literally can just like hop right over this is no problem for them this is just for when the babies hatch i don't want them to get out what do you think of the corral huh i think huh? it looks stupid you don't get to just walk in there like you own it i will still... fly over your fence yeah you're such a jerk trying to kick her out the nest i is not a jerk she left the eggs to freeze so i kept them warm don't even think about it i need to cover this with a net so I don't think this woman is actually broody. I just saw her lay an egg. Okay, so we got fresh water in that. And she's still in there. She's looking at the water. Do you want some? And I'm gonna fill this up with food, so I'll be right back with this. Hello, 
Okay, this is the setup we got going on. We got water and then food and the broody lady back there. She's very tired. But, um, maybe this will help entice her to stay in there because she doesn't have to get up to go anywhere. She can just have her food and water right there. So, look at this lady. At least she can't like go in there and kick her out now. I will fly over this tiny fence and lay an egg in her nest just because you said that. Stays. Poor girl. How oh, dare you nest lock box. me out of my own nest. That one's got eggs in it. She's just she just doesn't understand. I do understand. I understand your well, need nope. and want. <laughs> Be to yep, be sad and nest less. Top on it. Okay, guys, this is what we got going on. They're very curious. What have you done to our nest got box? Some leftover stuff right there. That's also. So basically, what I did. So I took the deer netting that we used for the um to extend the fence, and I put the leftovers that we had on top of here, so that this whole thing is covered. I told Obviously, you I was going to lay an egg in enough. my nest box. For you cannot dingons. stop us. Huh. Stupids. You stupids, look. Look what you've done. You've done we like to break things. At least someone's on the nest. I my told you goodness. she was trying to. Freeze then. Goodness. All three of you. All three of you, you just couldn't leave it alone. We are smart. Yes. We are strong. We are turkeys. Come on. Come on. You have to go out that way. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll leave you to it then, I guess. Whatever. Okay, so I fixed this. Put more uh, rocks on that so it keeps it kind of down. The lady is in there, being a concerned woman. Okay, so for conclusion of today's episode of Is My Turkey Broody or Not? Not really. I don't think so. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, Bluebird, obviously, was off the nest. But, as can be seen, Big Bird is back on the nest again. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know. She has only a few eggs because I took the rest of them away and put them in the incubator because I, I just don't trust her to continuously sit on them. Um, so, yeah. If she, if she really hones in on it and stays sitting for like four or five continuous days and then I'll maybe give her her eggs back but other than that probably not and then I put these three in this other nest box so they stop all laying in the same nest box so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys want to see more videos like this like subscribe turn on those post notifications and I'll see you in the next one